Hey everybody, this video is going to be a quick examination of the NPV or the negative predictive value of tests. We're going to talk about what that means and why you need to know what it means. Uh, here we have this classic 2x2 two two, uh, square here that examines the different types of outcomes of you know tests and whether or not you have a disease. We've talked about this in several videos, so I'm just going to run through it very quickly. But uh, you know, with a test, whether it's like a pregnancy test or HIV test, you can have a positive outcome or a negative outcome, right? Either the urine test can tell you that you are pregnant or not pregnant. So that's what the test can be, but a test can also be flawed. It can be incorrect, right? So for example, you might not actually be pregnant and it might show that you're pregnant, or uh, you know, you might, uh, the test might say that you are pregnant and you are pregnant. That would be a true positive, that sort of thing. You should be familiar with this two by two. Look for our other video on it if you, if you aren't familiar with it. But on to the NPV, the negative predictive value. It looks at one column of this two by two, and that is the true negatives over the total number of negatives, which is false negatives and true negatives. And this ratio ends up giving you what the NPV is. So first of all, <clears throat> what is a true negative? A true negative occurs when a test says you don't have it. So the urine dipstick says you are not pregnant and you are indeed, in reality, not pregnant. That's a true negative outcome. A false negative is when the test says Hey, you know, don't worry, don't be afraid. You're not pregnant. It's totally fine. Uh, and then, uh, however, you are indeed pregnant. That would be, you know, a false negative or a false negative outcome on that test. So a negative predictive value is the true negatives over the total number of negatives, or TN plus FN. And this gives you a number. So let's say that this is uh, 95 over 100. We did. We had a hundred negative results on our urine test for pregnancy. And 95 of them were actually negative, but five of them were, were problems with the test. The test didn't pick up a pregnancy when it should have. It was a false negative. So this gives us a ratio of 0 0.95 for a predictive, negative predictive value. What does that mean? Well, if you put this on the box of a urine pregnancy test, you know, this is a negative predictive value of 95% uh, or 0.95. And then, you know, a female took it home. She took the test and it was negative she would rest pretty easy because she'd be like, oh, good, I got a negative result and uh, I got a negative outcome of my test, which is good, and there's a 95% chance that that's a true negative. Now, if this number was really low, like let's say that uh, on all of our negative tests, only five of them were true negatives. <clears throat> and we have other videos talking about good, uh, indications where this might be uh, a good thing. However, in this case, that means that this, this test you know, to work with our current example, it's a pregnancy test. It only has a 5% true negative rate. So if you have a, if you, there'd be no reason for you to take this test because you, you want to know. So if you, if you took the urine pregnancy test and it came back negative, you wouldn't rest easy at night because you'd be like, yeah, I mean, it came back negative, but that means there's only a 5% chance that I'm not pregnant. So you'd, you'd be left wondering. Um, so basically just like a PPV or a positive predictive value, you want a higher number for a uh, NPV or negative predictive value for your tests. Thank you.